That's the big news. You're taking a sculpture class at the community college. It's not art. It's science! And as such, it is the thing that is going to help us defeat DeVoe. Recall, if you will, the one thing that we've seen, nay, heard, that can actually harm DeVoe. Is he Bowen's sound wave powers? Well, Izzy was killed by DeVoe, so whatever power she had is in his hands now. And now, Joe, they're in ours. Watch this. So, actually, maybe you should take a couple steps back if you value your internal organs. A thinker, two strikes, no more thinker. I call it a sonic scepter. Okay. Points for alliteration. Basically, just a big tuning fork. My goodness. Well, I mean, it's not just any tuning fork. This might be the most powerful tuning fork in the multiverse. You Thank must you. have laser shaved this thing down to the nanometer. Shaved it right down to the last angstrom, as a matter of fact. Child's play for me and my thinking cap. The sonic scepter mimics Izzy Bowen's sonic frequency so we can penetrate a heretofore impenetrable force field of DeVoe. And here's the best part. Because there's no tech involved. It's Kilgore proof. Yes. Nice. So now we just need to figure out where DeVoe is going to appear next. As a matter of fact, before you got here, I scripted a subroutine on the pocket dimension predictor. And it's going to give us a massive head start on DeVoe's next location. Thank you. Yesterday, I thought you said that wasn't possible. That's right, Snow. I did say that yesterday. But today is a new day. I've got a million new ideas. The cap and I will firing on all cylinders. Onward and upward. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to watch behind the scenes video and more from The Flash.